Hola, bienvenido a Medellín. I'm here to give you a warm welcome to Cube Day Colombia, and I'm looking forward to a great event. Uh, my name is Daniel Crook. I recently joined the CNCF to um, provide a great experience for our many projects, open source projects that are the core of what the Cloud Native Computing Foundation is. Uh, I'll be giving my remarks in English, but most of the content today is going to be in Spanish. Uh, and I'm excited how many people have shown up today. Uh, this is a huge number for a Cube Day, so thank you for coming. Uh, Cube Days like this are an important way for, uh, to meet communities, uh, especially those who can't make it to the larger flagship events in North America, Europe, India, and China. Um, and I look forward to meeting and talking with you throughout the day. Um, so before we get into the program, uh, let me just take a few minutes to talk about the CNCF, the growth and its project in communities, and um, how the folks here have made an impact on that. So um, the CNCF is a place to host critical open source infrastructure around the world. Uh, is anybody here in the audience a maintainer of any of these projects, including Kubernetes? Okay, great, we've got a few folks, thank you. Awesome. Um, so we exist to convene maintainers, give them the resources they need to make sure they're successful and companies can depend on these projects. Um, in a nutshell, the CNCF is a sub-foundation of the Linux Foundation, the larger Linux Foundation, and we exist to make sure that um, best practices for modern software development are adopted and strengthened worldwide. Uh, the story of cloud native technology itself evolves around 20 years of computing starting from bare metal and mainframes, moving all the way through virtual machines and containers. Um, along the way, since 2015, the CNCF and kind of the biggest project within, Kubernetes, have become the default ecosystem and platform for containers, uh, but also now WASM, serverless, AI training workloads, as well as running the inference workloads on those as well. So why might you start using one of these projects? Uh, there are many reasons, including uh, the ability of Cloud Native to make more, better use of the cloud resources you already have, um, get more workloads on there, uh, more services, less services, servers, um, greater resiliency to failure, tolerance, um, and replacing machines if they fail, um, and being able to work multi-cloud from your laptop through to one cloud, move that to another cloud on-premise or not. And finally, it's a great way to uh, deliver features faster for your software products. Uh, Columbia and the LATAM community has been an integral part of the growth of this community, uh, making it the largest open source community in the world. Uh, and there are currently over 200 projects. We just accepted 20 more this year. Uh, and in fact, there's probably about eight more that are gonna be joining before the end of the year. And that includes a community of maintainers, contributors that are growing to almost a quarter million already. So together with those projects and those companies and other participants, uh, we recognize a bunch of CNCF ambassadors here in Latin America. I was happy to uh, get to meet several of you last night. Um, and these folks are key to sharing their knowledge, mentoring beginners, and building a cloud native community. Uh, if you're an ambassador here, can you just stand up for a second? Okay. All right, well, there we go. We have an angel at least. Um, these are the folks that we really want to talk to if this is your first experience with Cloud Native. They're there to help, um, to, to mentor you, to talk to you, and present on technology. Um, so to support these projects, the CNCF has a great program for training and certification, as well as uh, mentorship programs for being paired one-on-one -on -one with one of the project maintainers who need uh, to develop a feature over three or six months. And um, the ambassador program is something that if you're already experienced in Cloud Native and you want to get involved, uh, get more recognition for your work, we have that too. And um, I have a bunch of QR codes. We're going to put these up on a monitor. You can grab these later as well outside. Okay, and I see Angel is here, Ramirez. He's one of our Cubestronauts from the local area. Um, for those who successfully complete the five Cloud Native and Kubernetes um, certifications, uh, you get the title of Cubestronaut and a great blue jacket. If you're one of the nine folks who are new Cubestronauts, you can grab your jacket at registration. Okay, and if you're interested in joining future events beyond this one, um, I know Carolina will talk a little bit about meetups and KCDs, but we do have some KubeCons happening in North America, India, and um, in Europe next year. Uh, please consider attending one of those. Those are really the flagship events. And um, there are 
definitely other ways to get involved locally in those key CDs and the, the local meetups. Um, and finally, if you are a developer or you want to become one, um, see some great starting points. Again, there's a lot of QR codes. Those will be available up on the monitors uh, in the main area. Uh, but contribute.cncf.io is probably your best first place to start. And um, join the CNCF Slack, connect with other members. Uh, you can find great new issues, uh, easy new issues to take on through Clotributor. And um, the Zero to Merge program is a, is a hands-on way to make your first contribution. So lots of different ways to get involved. Uh, with that, welcome. Thank you. And I'll hand it over to um, Carolina, who's one of the co-organizers, to run the rest of the show. Thank you.